Okay, so let's have this topic. So the derivative of the general power rule. So we have y equals u to the power n. So to get the derivative, that's y prime equals n times u to the power n minus 1 times the u prime or the derivative of u. So this is the formula for the general power rule. So we have this given, so find the derivative of y equals 2x plus 5 to the power 4. So from this formula and from this given, u, that's 2x plus 5. Then to get the derivative of u, so the derivative of 2x, that's 2. Then the derivative of 5, this one is 0 because the derivative of a constant is 0. So therefore, this is u prime. Then substitute now these values to this formula. So we have uh, y prime that's equal to n. So n is the exponent that's 4 times u. u is 2x plus 5 then to the power n minus 1. So that's 4 minus 1 that's 3 then times u prime. So u prime that's a derivative of u times 2. Then you simplify, multiply 4 and 2. So y prime now is equal to 8 times 2x plus 5 to the power 3. So this is now the derivative. Then for this given, so y equals 5x squared minus 3x minus 2 to the power 7. So using this formula and from the given, u, that's 5x squared minus 3x minus 2. Then to get the derivative of u, that's u prime. So the derivative of 5x squared, that's 5 times the derivative of x squared. So using the power rule, that's 2x. Then the derivative of negative 3x, that's negative 3. Then the derivative of a constant, that's uh, 0. So u prime now, that's 5 times 2x, that's 10x, then minus 3. So this is u prime and this is u. Then substitute these values to this formula. So y prime that's equal to n. n is the exponent. That's 7 times u. u is 5x squared minus 3x minus 2. Uh, and to the power n minus 1. So 7 minus 1. That's 6. Then times the u prime. So the derivative of u. That's 10x minus 3. Then simplify. So multiply this. 7 to 10x. That's 70x. And 7 times negative 3. That's negative 21. Then times this. 5x squared minus 3x minus 2 to the power 6. So this is now the derivative. Then for this given. So... Uh, the fourth root of x squared minus 2x plus 3 to the power 3. So first, we need to convert this radical in exponential form. So if we have square root of x, so in exponential form, this one is x to the power 1 half. Then if we have uh, cube root of x squared, so in exponential form, this one is x to the power 2 over 3. So this index becomes the uh, denominator of the fraction. So from this uh, given, we have the fourth root of x squared minus 2x plus 3 to the power 3. So in exponential form, this is uh, x squared minus 2x plus 3 to the power 3 over 4. So the index is the denominator of the fraction. Then using the general power rule, this is u. That's x squared minus 2x plus 3. Then the u prime, so the derivative of u. So the derivative of x squared, that's 2x. Then the derivative of this negative 2x, that's 2. And this uh, 3, this one is 0. So u prime, that's 2x minus 2. And this is u. So to solve now the derivative using this formula, so y prime equals n, n is the exponent, that's 3 over 4, times u, u is uh, x squared minus 2x plus 3, then n minus 1, so 3 over 4 minus 1, times u prime, u prime is 2x minus 2.
Then uh, simplify. So 3 over 4 times this 2x minus uh, 2. Then this x squared minus 2x plus 3. Then this uh, 3 over 4 minus 1. Now since uh, we can rewrite this one as 4 over 4 to make this denominator equal. So therefore, this 3 over 4 minus 1 is negative 1 fourth. Because 3 minus 4, that's negative 1. So to the power, negative 1 fourth. Then since we can factor out 2 uh, from this equation, so put 2 outside. So we have now divide by 2, that's x. Then divide by 2, that's negative 1. Then times x squared minus 2x plus 3 to the power negative 1 fourth. Because we can simplify 2 and 4. And that's 3 over 2. So we have x minus 1. Then x squared minus 2x plus 3 to the power negative 1 fourth. Now, since the exponent is negative, and to make the exponent positive, so bring down. So we have now, uh, for the numerator, that's 3 times x minus 1. Then for the denominator, that's 2 times, uh, you bring down this equation, this whole equation. That's x squared minus 2x plus 3, and the exponent now is positive 1 fourth. Then uh, you simplify, this one is 3x, then negative 3, times 2, then we can rewrite this one in a radical form. Now since x to the power 1 half is equal to square root of x, so therefore, this x squared minus 2x plus 3 to the power 1 fourth is equal to the fourth root of x squared minus 2x plus 3. So this is now the derivative.